Tenebo has spent 31.8% in his office and has succeeded in raising sufferings. Daniel Boala speaks. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our JC News update. Please click on the notification bell. At Tenebo's presidential aid in the last presidential election, Daniel Boala has propounded that the current administration of President Bola Tenebo may end up like his predecessor. He said that the past administration of Buhari, who spent eight years in office, did not do anything whether they told Nigerians to be patient. He also said that with few months of the current administration of President Bola Tenebo has succeeded in raising sovereign hardship to Nigerians. During his interview with Channel Television, he said, and I quote, when people talk about being patient and waiting, you have to look at the time frame the public officer is expected to execute the work. Bala, who was the spokesperson of the People Democratic Party presidential campaign council for the 2023 elections, said on Channel Television on Monday. The president has been voted into a, third, into a term of four years. He's eight months into the term, which constitutes 31.8% of the total time that he has. He has less than 70% time in government. When is that going to happen? When President Buhari took over in 2015, it was the same language and we patiently followed and he finished the first time and finished the second term. When there is a fundamental problem with policy, time is irrelevant. 30 years it will not work. Most of the economists I have listened to have faltered the president's budget with which he was supposed to deliver the agenda flat out. We want to see deliverables. Nigerians are tired of English, mathematics, economics, science, and technology. We want to see practical things, he said. Well, uh, Masona, what did I expect? When this man comes out, I can't tell him at that time, see, now in turn, apart from the fact that it is his turn, he refused to come outside to sell himself to you people. In the prison, that I say, you know, why you go do this one? Why you go do that one? Now, push that reach to show. Eh? I know people say after but well, now he's just an opposition, that's why it sounded like this. But believe you me, the president did not start on a good note. As in how he starts not the okay at all. He not start like person who even wants the interest and the best of life, as in the improvement of Nigeria. He not start with people who is person who people will get the that plan for the country, I they tell you. He not start with them at all. If you look at the things that they have done so far. The budgeting, how they remove the first subsidy, and everything that's been going on in the country, you would be able to understand that. Uh, I don't even sure these people even get a better plan. They just want to come and, you know, uh, what's that they call them? Come and eat. That is what they came to do. Majority of them. Some of them do not even know what they're supposed to do in their respective positions. It is my turn, Emilio Kong. Buhari said if anyone questions him, he will locate to Niger Republic. Nigeria is a drama. Okay. You will oh, ah, ah. why are you saying why are you telling him? Why are you telling Dan Ebola that you will so and die? Your brothers from Northern Nigeria use the made for the CBN to ruin our economy, and when trees fall on top of each other, you remove from topmost. President Bola went to the bowl like so, and we are going to be happy at last. Even the biblical God you did not know nor see, you fast before you can collect. Yet he will give to whom whom he pleases to give to. Patience is the way out. Please, I don't know why people know, but God does not wait for me to fast before he gives me anything. No? Because me, more country, but boy, he saw you. I don't understand what this, but this guy is saying. So, yes. Saying that we should be patient and patient. Sincerely, these people, they don't start well. That is why me, I'm of the opinion that um, this one where they know they're starting is see. This is no longer the end justify the means. So I am telling you, this is not the era of the end justify the means because this person has gotten himself into that seat. And the way we, from the look of things, from the look of things, the way they started is poor. The way they continued is poor. See, the way they do things now is really poor. Now, for instance, he knows immediately he came in, eh? I am sure he knew what he got himself into. 
he's he was going to immediately he came in he would have seen that okay resources is not too plenty he they would not check 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 resources that is why he started doing things he's doing now you came in and you saw that resources they're not too plenty you allow make they approve the 320 i be how many people they approve 160 million naira for their cars you understand that one aside you come in and you approve a what's it called you call you approve 15 this one for renovation 15 this one for this one this billion naira for this one this one for yacht bro die a burial loan you don't have a plan for nigeria because if you came in and you saw that omo um, this thing no day as he did resources no day you go tell everybody better than the money so fast as the building you know they collapse now painting i be oh, less okay or less we could just do painting make me paint house and make it and they manage and i want to ask questions people that are renovating these buildings the one the one of the vp that they're renovating and all of that is it that osiba and joe was not living there before is it that it is an abandoned property because a lot of the anytime we hear that what oh, they are doing repair works and we also know that during buhari time we heard that they were also doing repair works in asurok shena every time now each government will come and do repair works it is not supposed to be so that place is not a permanent house it's not if you have it at the front of your mind it is not your permanent house just like you google your office your office you're not permitted to come and paint your office now you can do things you can you know put your flower vase to beautify the place and all of that but you know you know they permitted to paint your office why it is your office space you do your work you're honest to do your work there and you go back home and of course, office spaces will never, as in, they don't go every day. How would I put it? They're, they're not going to be too bad that you cannot walk in them. That is the place you are going to be seated and you're going to be working from. The place that you work from and you make Nigeria better. You understand? So coming out to spend all those things on this is, is not necessary. So, you know, that also plays, that is, that is part of the things Nigerians are complaining of. They're not seeing you coming out to work smart you're not seeing you doing it and of course the big big companies will have the investors big big investors those p and g people those people they produce in peril leather those p and g people they don't pack their load or they don't come off from Nigeria. so make you reason now things are not really going as they're supposed to go so this is not a time to say this in fact i've said it before one year we are supposed to know that ah, this person know we are in the goal yes from one year if the folks don't know their heads, okay, oh, this person really knows where they go. This person really knows where they go. And this person, you know, he's genuinely, from that one year, you should be able to see this person is genuinely, and uh, what's it called, invested in making this country a better country for all of us. All right, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.